Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a developer portfolio using Wix. In this day and age, having an online portfolio is a really great tool to showcase all the work that you're proud of. Unlike a resume, which is just a sheet of paper, it allows you to really embrace your personality and establish a brand too. Now, especially if you're on the hunt for a job or if you're working as a freelance developer, a portfolio is a great way to show employers what you can do. I decided to use Wix for this portfolio because this is me when I spend 90 minutes trying to center a div using HTML and CSS. To get started, you can also create your own portfolio by clicking the link in the description below. So let's get started. Shout out to Wix for sponsoring this video. So the first thing I'm going to do to create my website is click create a new site. And here it asks me, what kind of website do you want to create? Well, I want a portfolio and CV. Now Wix has this option of letting the ADI create a website for you, but today let's get started with the template and see what we can do from there. I mean, they have a ton of really great templates that all look really professional, but let's find one that's more of my vibe. Ooh, I like this one. So let's use that. This is the site that gets loaded at first. Clearly this is not me, but we will use this in order to build our website. Let's just start replacing some of this stuff up here. I don't like that. We can hide the control so that we can really edit the stuff behind all those buttons over there. Here, let's make this my name. And I'm going to increase the size of this. Let's go with maybe 36. And also let's increase the spacing a little bit. Drag this out. The next thing I want is I want my social icons right underneath my name. So I can come here to the plus button, which is add, and I can add social. And I like the way that this looks because it just seems very clean to me. Let's drag this over here. Here we can customize this if we go to layouts and I'm gonna make this icon size a lot smaller and decrease this spacing a little bit. That looks good. If I click on set social links, well, I don't wanna link my Facebook. I want my YouTube channel to be first. I don't have a Pinterest and I don't have a Tumblr. Because this is a portfolio, it would make sense to put a LinkedIn. So let's search for that icon and let's use this one. So we can add that to the gallery and move this over to here. Then we can add our links. So right now the YouTube link goes to Wix. Let's make this my channel. So I'm just gonna go through each of these and direct them to my profiles. Okay, then click done. And there we have our social bar. This guy is just not me. So I'm gonna change the strip background and I can come here to image. Now, I don't really wanna use any of their images, so we can upload some new media and open all those files. So I'm just gonna upload a couple of files from my computer, and these are files that I already know I want on my portfolio, so that's why I'm adding all of these so that I don't have to do it a bunch of times later. Okay, so now that everything's uploaded, this is a picture that I want to replace that landing page with. So I'm gonna click on this and click Change Background. So there we go, now it's me and not the other guy. I don't really like this text, so I can just delete that by clicking the backspace. And let's move this up so that we cover the top to bottom of this page. Here, we can use this theme manager to change the colors of the entire site without having to manually change all of them. So I'm going to actually borrow, ooh, I like, I like this idea. So I'm gonna choose that as my new theme, but here I think I want this pink to be even more neon. I think that looks really good. So I'm going to add this and close that. Here, let's edit this menu. We can go to design and you can actually choose from a couple of different menu designs, but I like the one that we currently have. And I'm gonna click customize design in order to change some of the text and spacing. 
So, okay, let's edit this text and make it black because then it'll actually show up. Okay, so down here, you'll see that we have these anchors and these anchors just mean that when you click on about, it'll scroll the page down here. So let's go ahead and edit this about section. All right, so let's actually delete this background and add a picture instead so that it doesn't take up the entire column right there. And here I'm just going to add my portrait and size this down a little bit. All right, and let's just edit this text a little bit. I'm just going to say, hi, my name is Kylie Ying. Now I want it way bigger. And then this text down here, I'm going to do a little bio about myself. Paste that in and there we go. Now that we have a bio, let's move on to a contact page. In order to toggle which page we're editing, we can go to the pages button and click on the desired page. Here, instead of saying book Dr. Jeremy Avens, I'm going to say contact Kylie Ying. This contact form looks pretty good though. And I don't have any testimonials that I really wanna add, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then we have our footer. Now let's add some projects to this portfolio. All right, so let's take a look at what this publications tab looks like. It looks like this would be a really great place to showcase some of the projects that I've worked on. Let's change this to projects and let's make this my projects page. Let's start filling this in with projects that I've worked on. So there are three projects that I really wanna showcase. I wanna showcase one of the projects that I've worked on with driverless, another project that I worked on with recipe ingredients, and one that I've worked on with digital image processing. My driverless project is called an ode to the bicycle model. And I'm just gonna paste something that I've already written. All of this text is not something that you can add on a resume, but you can add here. And this button, I would link the PDF for the write-up, but this is still a little bit in the works. So instead, I'm going to just say, ask me more. And I'm gonna link this to the contact page. Over here, instead of this book cover, I'm going to import this image of race cars and I will crop this so that it looks slightly better than that. And I'm gonna repeat this process for all the projects. Okay, here for the check it out button, because this is a completed project and there's no secrecy about it, I'm going to actually link this directly to the GitHub. All right, so then here for this check it out part, I have a document that I actually want to show. And so then for this button, I can click on document and click choose file. And I've already imported this painterly rendering PDF. So I can click on this, click add to page and click done. So I'm going to add one more page. This is gonna be my resume page. In particular, if you're looking for a job or if you're a freelance developer, having a resume page allows you to basically put down your previous experience in industry maybe, or any courses, relevant schoolwork that you've done in order to get to where you are. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there are self-taught developers, which is really cool. And this is a great place to jot down all the courses that you've taken online, whether it's boot camps or free courses on MITx or something like that. So that can go here and really show employers that you have these credentials for this job. Okay, so I think that this resume CV page is perfect because we wanna add a resume page. And what I'm actually going to do is go to the projects page and copy the header. So this section here, this entire strip with this text I'm gonna copy that and go back to the resume page, paste the projects one. I'm going to call this resume. 
and then you'll see that we have this like repeater. So I'm going to actually delete some of these things because, well, we're gonna have two sections. I'm gonna have one section for education and one section for experience. Okay, so the layout that I wanna go for here is I'm gonna have a picture of a logo over here and everything else that's relevant, all the text that's relevant on the right hand side. Right here, let's make this. So this is going to be like the header of the element. And for my education, this is going to be Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Let's add one more line of text to this. And down here, it's a really good idea to sometimes list courses that you've taken, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to be listing my degrees. Okay, awesome. And I can change this line spacing a little bit to make things a little bit more spaced out here. And then let's add in an image. So now I'm going to use the MIT logo that I uploaded here and add that to the page. That's really large. So uh, we're gonna decrease that and add it in right here. All right, and then I'm gonna add my experience down here. This is good if you've ever had any industry experience like internships, research opportunities, you can add that down here and it will really showcase your credentials. I'm going to highlight my research and my extracurricular that I've been involved in so far. Here we change the logo and then let's edit this line to be MIT Relativistic Heavy Ion Group. And in the next line, I'm going to share my position and the dates. Now I'm gonna duplicate that in order to give a little description of what I've done in this role. So I'm actually gonna use bullet points and then I'm just gonna paste in directly from my resume. All right, and then in this repeater, what's really cool is that if you click manage items and you click duplicate item, then it basically gives you another slot that you can edit. And over here, again, we're going to change this image and make this driverless. And let's change these titles. Sometimes it's a good idea when people don't know what, for example, MIT driverless is, is to give a little introduction about what it is. So student team competing in global high speed autonomous racing challenges. And then of course, I'm gonna paste in a description of what I've been doing. So one more thing about the projects page is that it actually comes with animations, whereas this does not. So we can add those in. So I'm going to do float in and I'm gonna customize it from bottom and make that 0.6 seconds. And of course this, I'm also going to float in from the bottom just to make everything consistent, 0.6 seconds. And same thing here. All right, awesome. And if I click publish, then it takes a little bit. If I go to view site, well, here's the site. If I go to projects, it'll showcase all my projects. If I go to resume, you'll be able to see my resume. And then you can also contact me through this contact. Form. Thanks to Wix, I have a revamped portfolio. For all of you guys out there, whether you are new to coding or a seasoned developer, I highly suggest putting together a portfolio to really establish your brand and to be able to showcase projects that you've done or you're going to do in the future. To get started, you can create your own portfolio by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and honestly, I would love to take a look at some of your portfolios, so drop a link below and I'll check it out.